Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the Most High God. How are you guys doing on tonight? It's Wednesday night here in Delaware. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I hope all is well with you wherever you are in the world. I pray that everything is going well with you. If it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, guys. Welcome. Yes, and welcome back to all of my returning subscribers, as well as those that have just subscribed. Welcome back, guys. I'm holding the phone. I'm sorry. Let me give you a hug. I hope you felt that hug. That's a hug from me to you. Welcome, guys. I just wanted to come on and chit chat about uh, a lot of things are going on in the world, as we all already know. But it really, really disturbed my spirit today when I saw um, a news flash and information about P. Diddy. It really bothered my spirit because, um, you know, it seems like these people that are um, in the spotlight. You know, they have the fame, they have the fortune, and the enemy comes and allows it to be, you know, pretty much taken away from them. You know, their freedom, um, everything that they thought they built up, you know, um, the wages of sin is death, as the word says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Then I started thinking about R. Kelly, and I started thinking about how a lot of times money you know money is power and i hear a lot of people say i don't need a whole lot of money you know i don't really need a whole lot of money because you know to me i just want to be comfortable i don't need you know this i don't need that but i just want to say this money is not the root of all evil it's how we use the money and how we use the power that uh whether it's power of authority on a job whether it's power of authority on um uh, in a church you know pastors bishops apostles whoever how we use the power is what is going to be uh, either bring us up or bring us back down and i believe uh you know this is something that god wants to show that he's not playing you know god's not playing with sin i'm sorry about the glare guys let me see if i can lift it up some there we go God is not playing about sin. He's not playing with the sin. He's not. He's he's very angry about the wickedness that's going on in this world. He's angry about it. You know, um, everything that I heard about the things that was going on, it just made me just feel so terrible. So, you know, almost like sick to my stomach to hear the things that was going on with him and the things that he was doing and, you know, this and that and the women and did it, did it, did it. You know, it was, it's, it's horrible, you know, children and this and that. I mean, come on. We don't know all of what, you know, things are still coming out. So I'm not, you know, disclosure. I'm going by, you know, what we've heard, you know, and they say they get evidence and all this stuff. But guess what? God has a way of exposing people, you know, and a lot of times we people think, oh, I'm getting, they think they're getting away with it. I'm getting away with it. I'm going to just do a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to do a little more. And they don't think in their mind, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, they know they're, they feel like they're getting away with it. But at the end of the day, God exposes you. You know, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. It may be on your deathbed, but you reap what you sow. You do things bad and it comes back on you. You know, you can only get away with it for so long. And I'm sure, you know, he probably thought that he could get away with some things. And, you know, um, of course, you know, R. Kelly as well, you know, and, and many others thought that they can get away with it. You know, we've all have come short of the glory of God. But when you're doing things and you're really, really doing it and you're feeling as though you have the power to do it, you know, because you are this quote unquote big famous person, you know, that everybody looks up to. It's a dangerous place to be in. Just like it was with Satan when he had, when he was kicked out of heaven. It's a dangerous place 
to act like that power that you have, you know, from money and fame and women and yada, 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 has brought you to the point where you feel as though you can just do whatever and get away with it and keep doing it for years on years on years and years. God is, oh, God is tired of sin. He's tired of the wickedness in this world. He's so tired of the wickedness in this world, you know, and, and, and it's one of those things where um, we just have to make sure that we are not, you know, it may be at a different level of power that you have. It may be at a different level of power. You may, you know, have somewhat of a power of whatever you, you know, where you work. You may have somewhat of power of, you know, you're the um, main breadwinner in the family, you know. So because you're making the most, you know, you, you, you do this, you do that, you, you know, you sometimes you talk down, you know, you talk a little bit down to people, you talk down to your wife, talk down to your um, husband, you know. God doesn't want us to do that, even in those little things. It may seem little, but it's big. It may be seem little, but it's big. Because you know that you have the power to be able to control a situation because of the finances. You know, um, you do whatever you want to do. You, you say whatever you want to say. And you feel as though, oh. I can get away with this. I can do this. I can do that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? That what are you going to do about it attitude is what's going to land a lot of people. You know where? In hell. And God is saying, come on, we, we, we got we to gotta get our lives together. We got to get things right. We got to do things right. You know, it's, it's so much wickedness going on in this world. And God is tired of the sin you know he's tired of the sin you know it's just like back in the bible when you know noah was saying you know come on come on come on come on you know telling the people to get their lives together get on here get on the ark get on the ark they, they people just did whatever they wanted to do it's going to rain it's going to storm get on the ark get on the ark you know come on prepare prepare you know Get the animals, do this, do that. People didn't want to listen. Nobody wanted to listen. And today, same way. People don't want to listen. People don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. They want to do what they want to do, especially when they're in that high uh, arena where people can see them, where they're, <clears throat> excuse me, have a lot of fame, a lot of fortune. But God is saying, even in that, I am God and I am God alone. And if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, we will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. God wants us to repent. And we don't just repent one time. We repent daily. We repent, you know, it could be a thought. It could be a word. It could be a deed. Hallelujah. We, God wants us to continuously repent. Talk to God each and every day. If you got to set your alarm on your clock, on your on your phone or your, your you know, whatever, on your watch. We got to keep a spirit of repentance, a humble spirit, a spirit that God wants us to have to be like him. Meek and, meek and humble. You know, not arrogant because of what you have not arrogant to the point where you feel like you can treat people like trash and get away with it god is watching each and every one of us so i just wanted to come on and just talk about it because it bothered me today when i saw it come on my screen and when i saw the information and it it really really disturbed my spirit it, it, it stinks in god's nostrils it stinks in god's nostrils it's, it's disgusting, the stuff that, the, that has been going on behind closed doors and that is still going on. A lot of other people are doing the same thing. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, I pray for each and every one under the sound of my voice. I pray for P. Diddy. I pray that he will allow himself to surrender his life to you. That he will, oh God, repent. 
for things that he has done in his life, as well as R. Kelly and anybody else out there, not just on that level, but on, hallelujah, uh, a regular uh, level as myself, to repent, anybody, not just ones that are in the spotlight, those that are in spotlight, but those, oh God, the everyday person to, that is into anything that is not pleasing in your sight. I ask that you will allow each and every one to repent and to ask you to come into their heart, forgive them, and to be that they want to be saved. Father, we can't make it in this life without you. We can't do nothing in this life without you. We need you every minute, every second, every hour. And I ask that you will encourage each one to surrender their lives over to you. Give them a mind to want to live right. Give them a mind to want to do right. Those that are in some things that, hallelujah, they, they want to come out of. And they feel like they're so twisted up in that situation. Allow them to know that with your power, they can come out of it. Hallelujah. Because of you. Hallelujah. They can be free because you, hallelujah, you set the price. You did it 2,000 years ago. You did it on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. And Father, we thank you and we praise you in advance for all you're doing and all you're going to do for each one under the sound of my voice. Bless them. Meet every need. Encourage their heart and allow them to continue to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged, guys. I am getting ready to go in the parking lot here. Just left work. But I just wanted to come on and encourage you to be encouraged. And, you know, even in the midst of everything that's going on in the world, um, even in the government, be encouraged. We're living in the last days. And our daddy is soon to come back. Real soon. Be encouraged. I love you. Remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your bell to be notified of every new upcoming video. Make sure you comment and let me know how this video has also blessed you. I love you guys so much. Be encouraged. I'll talk to you real soon. Remember, you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you.